Hello there, so this video is about autotoxicity, which means things that can cause you to have tinnitus or hearing loss, especially uh, with relate, relationship to uh, drugs and so forth. Um, I wanted to uh, talk about this because I, we often get a lot of comments and I see other places on the internet where someone says, well, I took this drug and then it caused me to have tinnitus. So therefore, don't take this drug. Um, this is a tricky question because I personally don't believe that there are too many drugs, maybe zero, maybe very few, where after someone takes this drug, they almost always get tinnitus. I think it's we're probably dealing with 1% or something like that in general. But 1% is still a lot of people. If 100 people take the drug and 1 in 100 get it and there's thousands of people taking the drug, you know, then that's still a pretty significant number. But aspirin, uh, Tylenol, ibuprofen, these are autotoxic drugs. And, the, you know, Everyone takes them, but it's not like everyone's getting tinnitus from it. Maybe we will find some studies later on that say, don't take it because it's better not to take it because you'll, you'll get tinnitus. But I don't really feel like it's, it's significant enough that if you have some bad pain that you should not take, say, uh, ibuprofen. So, but let's, let's talk, let's just dive into this a little bit. Um, in general, what tends to cause tinnitus is some problem that impacts your ear. So if you, first of all, trauma will, ca will cause it. And second of all, besides trauma, well, tra trauma in general can come in different forms. So a lot of times when you talk about someone who was taking a drug and they got tinnitus, it may not be a one-on-one one -on -one correlation. So for example, for me, I had um, COVID, I couldn't sleep, I had wax in my ear, um, I took medications, more than one, and um, what else What else was it? Um, I think there was one more thing. But anyways, I had several things happening at one time, so can we say that it was the drug that I was taking that caused me to have the tinnitus? I don't think we can draw that correlation completely. Maybe if they did some chemistry of my body and studied me really intensely, they could find out. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think we can draw that correlation for me. But I am a person who took one of those drugs and there's something like tramadol. I'm not sure. It's, it's sometimes used for sleep and, and um, depression or also, but I forget the name of it. That's not quite the name. But anyways, um, yeah, I took this drug and then I got you know, um, tinnitus after taking it. Was it the drug? Maybe, you know, or was it the, the COVID? Well, we know a lot of people who had got COVID got tinnitus. So, so let's, let's dive in some more. So the best thing we can do for ourselves is do all the things that will help us to be healthy, which would generally also be the things that would not lead to tinnitus. Eat well, exercise, and maintain a positive outlook on life and study each of these things. Spend, spend time every day on how can I make my exercise better? How can I make my diet better? How can I improve my mental outlook? I mean, instead of staring at your phone all day long, maybe st research these things. It might serve you very, very well. Like for example, um, design your meals, make an art out of it. If you have to order some things, you could do simple things, cheap things, but, you know, find some ways to make food interesting and more healthful. Research which foods would be good to eat and then go buy some of those and eat them. And uh, spend part of your day doing that every day. I mean, what goes into, what do you put in your mouth is like one of the most direct, has a, a huge direct relationship with how healthy you're going to be. And... Things like high blood pressure can cause tinnitus, right? Um, and then make a science of wherever you are at physically right now. 
there's going to be a muscle you can improve on. There's going to be uh, something with your cardio you can improve on. Even if all you can do is sit, you can do, there's a, there's a, a series of videos about chair aerobics. <laughs> you can do that. Um, so study how to get healthier with, with exercise and then, um, study the mind. You'll, you'll hear me talking about different strategies about our mind here on these videos because, um, gosh, I had a lot of mental problems last year from the COVID. It really did crazy things to me. And I'm so fortunate that I was able to get to the other side. And by the way, I took three different medications to help get me through the worst part. I'd rather not take any medications, but I feel like if there, if you come to a point where you're not making progress and uh, you need to get over a bad patch, um, you may need to take some medications. I, I took some and I'm not disappointed that I did. Um, so I know I took Ativan, for example, and it does have auto toxicity, but I don't think it did anything um, tinnitus wise to me. Um, I took something called Seroquel. I haven't researched it. I, I wanted to dive into a couple more though. And I took, um, what was the other one? Um, it was called, oh, oh, Zoloft, which also has autotoxicity. So, um, but you know, as we said, aspirin, ibuprofen, Tylenol. I know some blood thinners for heart problems. They have autotoxicity. So like how, sometimes these are, these are drugs that people take all the time and they have autotoxicity. So um, I went to look up alcohol because um, uh, I wasn't sure, but I think it also has autotoxicity. Um, yep, yep. So the, the high levels of alcohol in the bloodstream can create a toxic environment, which can damage the delicate hair cells in the cochlea. So alcohol has autotoxicity. Um, maybe you should drink alcohol in moderation and then you won't have high levels of blood alcohol, right? I know also when it comes to alcohol, there's some pretty good studies now about alcohol and anxiety and it can make it worse. Um, what about cannabis? Uh, cannabis, does it have autotoxicity? Um, it appears that it does. Yep. Yep. So let me see. Regular mar uh, use is associated with prevalent. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it does seem like if someone who smokes marijuana regularly, they also have a, a, a greater likelihood of getting tinnitus. So what am I getting at here? I'm not saying don't smoke marijuana. I'm not saying don't drink alcohol. What I'm saying is you got three things that are more important than all that. Exercise, eat right, and maintain a positive outlook, positive outlook, and spend more time in your day working toward making those three things better. And you may very well not really feel like it's all that important that you drink alcohol or smoke cannabis or CBD even. I'm not sure what the situation with that is. Um, and I was even reading gaming. Gaming, you know, um, gaming can... If you have a problem with anxiety and then you game all the time, there's been some pretty good studies now that if you spend too much time gaming, that'll cause you to be more anxious and, and intensify your anxiety. Uh, I guess if you listen to the uh, to the headphones too loud, that could cause tinnitus as well. But if you're gaming for hours and hours, then maybe you could have been spending that time preparing a healthy meal and actually cutting up vegetables and cooking them and exercising and. Uh, doing some things to say, hey, I'm a happy person today. And, you know, uh, positive affirmations or any things that will help you help you with your with your mental outlook. So. So. No, so number one, I guess auto toxicity is the thing. And especially if you're going to take some medication at a higher dose, that it's maybe it's a little bit more of a problem. Now, I don't think we have enough studies to, to confirm everything. But I'm not against using medications when they're called for. Uh, if you can't sleep for days and days, you need to get some sleep, and a medication will probably help you. If you have anxiety, if you have anxiety for you know weeks on end and it's not improving, you may need some medication to help put you in the right direction, and then get off of it. 
and work, work toward the, the three things. Uh, eat right, exercise, and a positive mental outlet until you don't need the medication anymore, you know? So I I just want to just want to make a video about autotoxicity and, and but also tie in a few other things and you know let's think about what's most important here eat right exercise positive mental outlook and then spend more of your day working on those things and you'll probably be uh, way better off if you did it every day for the next year wouldn't you sure you surely you would so okay well uh have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time bye bye